Alex is easily one of the most impressive fighters in Fortnite history. His speed, execution, and ingenuity are nearly unmatched. But what exactly makes this guy so incredible? Bunch of Crunch Army, I'm here. Come on now, let's go. Today, we're looking at what NRX Clicks does right and wrong in Fortnite. The skills and traits that he used to pop off, as well as areas he could technically improve in. We know many of you guys want to play like Clicks, so this video is going to teach you exactly what you need to know while also serving as caution for the scary downsides his playstyle has. You guys ready for this? Let's get this going. All right, guys, so what does Clicks do right? Well, you know, we could probably just list 100 things here, <laughs> but something that really stands out is his aggression. You know, Clicks is just such a brilliant force when it comes to fighting players, and there are two reasons why he chooses to be. For one, the quicker you are to act, the less time you give your opponent to come up with the counter move. And that's, of course, vital in a game as fast-paced as Fortnite, right? But the second reason is this. Pressure equals panic. Clicks knows that the more pressure that you apply to your opponent, like the more likely they are to panic, right? Making the whole eliminating them part much more straightforward. Still though, like why does Clicks' aggression work so well? Well, part credit has to go to his, you know, utterly incredible mechanics. I mean, there really isn't much to really say there. Like Clicks has some of the finest building skills in the scene. Like I don't think it's in his blood to just mess up and edit. He's just that good, guys. Which makes sense given all the time he's put into creative. But what's equally as instrumental to Clicks' aggression is how he always keeps his opponents guessing. You know, being unpredictable is one of the best ways to gain the upper hand in a fight. And Clicks is pretty much always switching things up, the direction he attacks from, whether he has a gun out or not. Pretty much whatever he can do in his power so that his opponent ends up making the wrong decisions. So to stay ahead of your opponent, you need to read their moves which is another area where Clicks excels. So take into example this recent arena fight. First, Clicks gets on a high ground to scout for enemies, which is an excellent way to ensure you deal the opening damage in a fight. And look, man, as soon as Clicks spots someone, he uses bouncers to get in quick, and again, that aggression coming into play to make his opponent panic. And when he lands, he notices the guy expand out, so he can tell they're defensive. And that's why Clicks stays up top. He's predicting another expansion, so he wants to go for peace control. In this case, the cone floor into walls technique, that's so essential today. Many of us would just try to just brute force our way in, <laughs> but if you could just use your opponent's previous moves to predict their next, peace control becomes a cinch. Of course, like you still have to practice techniques to get the mechanics down, right? For that, we recommend our recent creative map video. Or if you want to learn from the man himself, guys, you got to check out Clix's master course on Pro Guides. In it, you're gonna find Clix's best practice methods as well as more insane pro tips to help you guys reach a higher caliber in no time. Anyway, all right, moving on. Another thing Clix excels at is the way he edits and peaks, even compared to the other top players. There's just something so masterful about Clix's peaks. I mean, it's as if he always finds a way to just implement the most underused edits with the most mind-blowing angles. And of course, this goes back to the whole being unpredictable bar, right? No one really expects someone to make it a regular edit on them. Like, who knows how many players Clix has thrown off with these? And we can safely say is that only a few pros even come close to rivaling how Clicks speaks. So Clicks also seems to have the right tactic up his sleeve to help out during a pinch. Like the stuff he comes up with is kind of incredible. <laughs> and while clever, you know, unique plays are a big part of his play style, a lot of it just boils down to the basics. Clicks is so insanely quick at editing, getting a shot off, then resetting. It's, pr it's pretty much his staple move. As for how Clicks resets pieces so quickly, part of it has to do with his unique mouse grip which allows him to scroll without really having to move his fingers as the standard mouse grip requires. Still, being quick is only part of it. The way Clicks positions his character in fights is just as crucial to his success. It's as if like he's always <laughs> in a spot where he has the advantage, not his opponent. And that's kind of necessary, guys, because given his aggressive playstyle, Clicks would just die over and over again without being able to get the first shot off. And not only that, but Clicks also tends to position so that he always has room to fall back. Just look at this clip if you don't believe me. Clicks is near death in this cash cup, but his movement is too slick. He slips right past his opponent and he trades spots with them. Then he sees them about to ramp exploit. So rather than just try to hold the wall, Clicks backs up to a position where he can just ramp for protection while backing up to somewhere not inside all these boxes so that he could just, you know, have a right hand peek. 
absolutely brilliant. So that about sums up what Clicks does right, and there's a whole lot. Still, nobody's perfect and everybody's human. And you know, a couple of its positive traits do have significant downsides as well. You guys are ready to take a look? Here we go. Now, Clix's aggressive playstyle definitely works for him, at least when you look at things overall. But every so often, he ends up being a little too aggressive. Some people even call it dumb aggression. It's as almost as if he focuses too hard on getting kills that he ends up just tunnel visioning and ignoring the things that would keep him alive throughout the match. So if you're a Clix fan, you probably remember the hilarious yet sad moment where Clix got griefed hard by Shark. Game, good game, good game, good game, good game, good game, good game. Now, it was an unfortunate end to a fight clicks one, and sharks eating your loot is kind of a dumb concept anyway, but at the same time, guys, like clicks forced a storm fight on edge zone. He must have got overconfident and he just thought he was just gonna win the fight, but but hedging your bets on the best outcome isn't really a good idea. He should have thought more about how far the zone war, how the storm is about to go to two tick, and how he might get held in the storm later. So even if the shark wasn't there, Clix was dead. So getting into the safe zone early can help a lot with avoiding storm fights, but if he paid more attention to where the zone was or perhaps even just decided to disengage, Let's just say that hilarious clip would have never come into existence. You could even say that Clix lacks game sense, kinda in a way, right? Like, not necessarily his fighting sense. He's insane there, obviously. One of the best in the world. But his overall awareness when it comes to what he should be prioritizing, especially toward the end game. And that's why, you know, a lot of people love to watch Clix and team modes. In the past, he and FaZe Bizzle were probably one of the most, you know, yin and yang duels in recent NA history. Bizzle was the level-headed IGL and Clix was the hot-headed fighter and they really complemented each other really great. And even now, with his current trio, his teammates do an excellent job keeping him in line, you know, despite Clix's aggressive nature taking over every once in a while. So, if Clix slowed down his role every now and then, like we honestly think it could help. Which brings us to our next point. Clix's aim is another area he's kind of impatient with. Like, he flicks nearly all his shotgun shots, which it's not horrible, right? After all, his playstyle is fast and it creates a ton of jaw-dropping moments that you're like, dang, like how did he do that? But reviewing gameplay for this video, his aim was just kind of inconsistent. Like you could blink in one fight and miss an incredible shot, but then in another fight, you know, he's just tapping his opponent's toes or just whiffing entirely. Now, these examples could just be, you know, from his off days. Obviously, he's human. We get it. Having an aim training routine is one of the best ways to improve consistency in your aim. Or perhaps, you know, he needs to hit up an aim training to just awaken his flicks or something. But shotgun hits are so critical to land. And we think that clicks and, and really any players out there that consistently flick lick their shots could definitely benefit from just taking just a fraction of a second to just adjust their aim. And look, while we think being patient with his aim is something Clicks can work on, I mean, it's not a huge deal because <laughs> at the end of the day, most of Clicks' strengths aren't based on his aim. And clearly, that play style has worked out tremendously for him. I'm sure you guys can agree. So we got to conclude this, like Clicks does a lot right. He's unpredictably aggressive, which works really well for him, given his ridiculous mechanics and his ability to read opponents like they're literally a book. On more of a micro level though, all right, Clix's positioning, his movement, and the way he peeks and fights are so amazing. I mean, they're really second to none, that's, that's obvious. But at the same time though, if I could be real, over aggression and tunnel visioning often end up being his downfall as well as his style of aiming which is just too fast and really leads to many many missed shots clicks has definitely proven himself to be one of the best players in the entire north american region sure i mean he has some things to work on as pretty much all of us right but just imagine guys like how much of a monster he's going to become if he manages to make improvement all right guys that's it for today's video let us know in the comments like who you want to see you know a video on like this next we plan on making this a series i'm so excited about it you guys are gonna love it so leave a like on the video hey bunch of crunch army it was my pleasure again make sure to connect with me on my insta at your motivation guy and we'll see you soon